Yo guys, what's going on? This is a video that I wanted to make yesterday. And I didn't get around to it because it was kind of late in the afternoon when I seen it. I do know Ty made a video about it today. And I'm with Ty on it. It's got to change. But we're going to go ahead and talk about the auction house. And I'm going to go over why it's bad for the community why we're making it much easier for the people who are selling the mt for them to keep doing this and what i think should happen to the people who are molding and buying the MT. so if you're new to the channel hit the like button hit the sub button and let's get into this first of all Excuse me. If you are promoting the MT buying and you are buying the MT, I think it should be nothing else but a console ban. And I don't care who it offends, who it don't offend, if you're on this channel or not. If you don't like what I said just there, you can unsub. Like, it's that easy. But any like and sub is great. Greatly appreciate it. But let's go ahead and uh, I'll talk to y'all about why I think it's bad for the MT and uh, going to hurt the community. And I'll tell y'all why I think it's uh, hurting people who are actually putting their money into the game. But when we'll go ahead and we'll just go to collections because it's easier to just find them in the collections. When you got. I don't know how I flipped that, but oh well. When we got LeBron up right here for nine and a half hours left to go for a million. That's kind of crazy. He's base. I guess right here probably it probably no telling what it's going because he's got thirty three gold badges on it. Like no telling what that going for. You got one over here with nine and a half hours left to go, and it's going for a million. I mean that's something. But when you got, and I don't know why people like using this one, but when you got Scott here, we'll go ahead and pick on Scott. Uh, going for 90K normally. And you scroll over and you see these posts within minutes and some of them, I uh, guess right here is posted at 241. But when you go over here and you see, I mean, these right here, these four right here are. These four right here are just like seconds of each other. So if somebody is new to this game and they're wanting a point guard and it just say like these are the last three and they go to this card right here and these are the last three going for 200,000 and they scroll all the way to the end and they don't see nobody up for a uh, bid and all of a sudden at the end they see this and up for 89,000 they think it's a snipe and they buy it and want to put it up for 100k and then they don't get their MT back. They're going to get mad and just go on because, I mean, they just wasted 100K MT. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's bad if somebody's new to the game, new to sniping, or just wanting to, like, buy or not buy MT, but snipe and make MT so they can buy, like, packs with MT. That's why it's hurting the game with, uh, as far as the community when people are new to the game. Then you got also, let's just say, let's find what the cheapest diamond is right here. We go to the auction house, and we're going to go with diamonds. We're going to go up, just see what the cheapest one is. So they're up in price. They was around 70. Still up in price. They, they, I mean, every week they go up just because people buying MT. Let's just see, ninety-five thousand. 
Now, I want y'all to think what I'm about to tell y'all. Even the people who are selling the MT were making it easy for them. And I'm going to tell y'all we're going to make it easy for them when you're buying this MT. Because you're right now, you don't want to get caught. You want to put it as a bid so it looks legit. And you're not using gold players or anything like that. So when you're buying these cards right here, and you put them up for a hundred thousand on a bid, and you're buying the MP, all they gotta do is turn around. They can either sell or they can wait for they all go to the bid and put them up for a hundred k and make half their profit back. Because if you buy a million MT and they put them all up for 90k, they're pretty much sitting at like 420 and they may have their profit back. They didn't even have to snipe for it. You see what I'm saying? Like, they can beat 2K's prices because of that. But when we're buying the MT and we want 2K to change, 2K ain't going to drop down the odds at all. Until the market comes down, where they can counteract the MT buying, until they can counteract the MT buying or get the MT buying out of the game, they're not going to bring the auctions down. And if we keep going the way we're doing, they're going to take the auction house out of the game completely. But that's my thoughts on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think, where y'all stand on it. If you're buying or promoting an MT, and I don't care who it offends or anything like that, like, I think you should be, I mean, you might be, like, legit, like, yeah, I think you should be out of the game. Like, you're the problem. Get it out. For, like, people like me who buy VC, even people like Decentric, who buy VC for his channel and he has to overpay what more than what Brian should have been. Well, Brian should be no more than 600,000. Even the new pink diamonds coming out on Friday shouldn't be no more than five, 600,000 in the auction house. But when they got paid just for one car, 1.7 million or whatever it is they're paying for, it's crazy. They could have bought three cards for that. And it had a lot better team if people wouldn't buy the MT. That's what I'm talking about. And it's got to change. It's got to stop. 2K's got to do the right thing and just get, get it out of the game and ban the people who are legit buying it and promoting it. But that's my thoughts about it. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm out. Y'all have a good one.